fit like a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this foot along this hall, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Colby Rebel Show. I am your host, Colby Rebel, where my goal is to make that connection or answer that pet question. So we have an exciting show today. This is our date night show where we are going to take callers live on air. I'm very, very excited to connect with everyone, to talk with everyone And just to kind of let you know that we have some amazing guests and you can ask your questions in the comments as well. So let us get started, right? We're going to just kind of dive in a little bit before I do start. I'm just going to kind of go over a couple upcoming events that we have. We have in October, because October is that wonderful spooky month, uh, we have a wonderful event with Parapod. And it is a psychic Halloween experience. So this is at the main theater in Santa Clarita. This is a live event. I'm very, very excited to be there with Parapod at the main theater. So the tickets are on my website if you're interested. So that's October 4th. Bring a friend, family member, live evening messages, connections. It's really going to be a blast. We also have the spiritual business mentoring coming up. So this is online and we start September 19th. And this is really important. If you are looking to start your spiritual business, build and grow, this is an opportunity to do it in a group mentoring um, environment. So again, those tickets are on my website. Come join me. All right. So here we go. Let us see. Let us bring on Elizabeth, Liz here. Hi, Liz. How are you? Hi, Colby. I'm doing well. Thank you. It's so good to see you. And thank you so much for being here. I know you wanted to connect with someone special. Uh, Who is it you're looking to connect with? And let's see if we can bring them forward for you. I'm looking uh, to hopefully connect with my grandmother. Okay, great. So let me just have a moment here. The thing about your grandmother, she brings in a lot of personality with her, Liz. Like, I feel like this is a lady rich in personality. Do you know what I mean? Like, she gives me so much flavor. (laughs) (laughs) And I really see, you know, what's really interesting is I see she keeps showing me colored beads. So I feel like either she was really good at making things or putting things together She gives me a connection to, it's interesting, like a connection to culture or a connection to her roots. Does that make sense for you around your grandma? Yes. Okay. And then I am curious, do you have a, do you have either beaded bracelet from her or beaded necklace from her, Liz? We brought, she passed in Mexico and my dad was unfortunately not able to go. And we brought back a beaded necklace. My dad. Oh, that's what it is. So she she knows that this was done and it makes her very happy. So I do want to let you know that. Okay. So she's recognizing that. She also gives me the feeling where I feel like for her life was simple. I don't think she wanted it too complex, right? She had her daily routine that she loved. She's a very routine woman. <laughs> yeah. Um, She had her daily routine, but, you know, I feel like it was about, you know, her making the food or making dinner, making things very fresh was really important. I think, too, she keeps showing me barefoot. I don't know. She just enjoyed being barefoot a lot. (laughs) Uh, But she keeps showing me, like, going out into the yard. So she might have even had vegetables and such in the yard that she just kind of go out and grab, that sort of thing, you know. She also... All the neighbors know this lady. All the na- like she she was the social butterfly of the neighborhood, and so she loved doing that. She loved being cared for. She loved being needed, and she really you know gives me this sense where I I feel like you know she felt like she had a great life. I think her health was just failing. I th- I think it just kind of came down to age and she just is like you know what I'm okay I've had a great life 
and I have a lot of wonderful memories. I think there's kind of a big family. Am I right? Because it's like I I had a lot of babies. I did my job. (laughs) So she she really gives me that. I do know she also shows me a cross, Liz. So I do know that she's a woman of faith. And and I feel like just gives me a feeling of I'm at peace. I'm, you know, like just a sense of I'm with God. I feel good. Okay. And so just kind of knowing that. Okay. And just feeling an awareness of her coming around you. I do feel like Liz, there's definitely going to be butterflies for you and recognizing and knowing that there's going to be seeing butterflies around. Have you seen any since she's passed or not yet? So I've seen butterflies for, I, I, I personally connect them to, I had a sister that passed away and I had um, close family members that have passed away. And I feel like butterflies are just my way or I feel like that's my connection to my loved one. The day she passed, there was this big butterfly. So my connection to it was she's with everyone I know. That's yeah, exactly right. Knowing that she's with your sister, knowing that she's with everyone and she got the royal treatment. Like it was definitely <laughs> the red carpet was rolled out for her. It's like she truly, even if she was in Mexico, she truly was the matriarch of the family. And and I feel like people supported her. I actually feel like she didn't, she loved being there. Like I don't really feel like she wanted to live in the States or wanted to be here. Like she needed her her home. Yeah, it, it was her it was she said a word that was too quick like i know casa was part of it but the the, she said something in spanish of like it being her special house or her special place like i'm not leaving my home (laughs) yes that sounds just like her yeah so just know that she she's doing great and i'll tell you what she is breathing so well i think she has some respiratory issues prior to her passing and now it's like she feels so good and she's she's you know her breathing is really good so just know that she loves and appreciates that you guys were there that you guys came to visit her and that was that meant the world to her okay I do feel like she's given me the recognition of somebody's voice prior to her passing somebody whispering or talking to her just kind of reassuring her and letting her go so even if I think maybe we weren't fully aware of if she could hear she's letting us know she could hear so and it was really nice I just feel like there was this beautiful prayer all around her so everybody gathered around and gave her a prayer and held her hand and she said it was a a beautiful passing it was a beautiful um reunion also there's a male on the other side for her so would her husband be on the other side Liz because she is with him and she so she gives me the feeling of being able to uh, be reunited with the love of her life and to know that, you know, it's been beautiful and it was so amazing and incredible. OK, so I hope that brings you a lot of love and a lot of healing. And she just wants a big party for her, though. So it's about having a big party. <laughs> yes, and really quickly, is there a certain specific message or maybe a phrase or something that she has for my dad? He was unable to see her and physically say goodbye to her. Maybe she has something to relate to him. Yeah, she just gives me the feeling of... It, it's interesting, even I can hear her in English. I know she's saying it in Spanish. I think Spanish was her native language, of course, right? right? Yeah. And she says, like, basically what I'm saying, don't cry, my baby. Don't cry, my baby. I know you were with me in thoughts and in my heart. So, you know, don't be sad. Don't be sad. I'm I'm with you, Okay. But it is interesting. It's like, don't cry, my baby. So, but yeah. it's in Spanish. So you have to say it in Spanish to him. Okay. Okay. I don't cry, my baby. baby. Don't cry, my baby. I know you are with me in my heart and in my mind. So, okay. So I will leave that with you and lots of love to you. Okay. Thank you so much, Colby. Absolutely. Have a beautiful day, Liz. Thank, Thank you. you. As well. Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful message from her grandmother. And I'm I'm so happy her grandmother came through, which is very, very sweet. Well, thank you so much for, for being here and for being a, a part of the show today. So let's see. We want to connect to dad. Is that correct, Kathy? Mom or dad. <laughs> Mom or dad. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so let's see. Well, they both come through very supportive for you, Kathy. So I do feel like 
maybe we've been kind of going through a lot or experiencing a lot, but I feel like dad is the one who really comes in, even though they're together, dad really, I feel like is the one wanting to represent. And I feel like it's just because maybe when you're really at a crossroads, he was really good at bouncing ideas off of, or just kind of giving you some solid practical advice. (laughs) Does that resonate around dad for you, Kathy? Yeah. And he's just a guy who, you know, um, very upstanding. Like, I think he's just a very upstanding, reputable guy. But he does come across to me just very practical. Like, he just kind of says, don't, like, it's like, don't take any crap from anybody. Like, I just feel like that's his, like, hey, don't take it from anybody. You, You know, know who you are, okay? And it really gives me that feeling of you needing a little bit of a boost, like maybe some reassurance around some circumstances lately. And he's like, hey, I am here supporting you. I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that you are making the right choice. So I believe that we've got a choice coming up or something that's been very impactful and significant. Does that resonate for you? Not very much. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Do you mind sharing this crossroads? Because I'd love to dig into it deeper to just kind of see like, but that's showing me like it's going to be a whole new beginning for you. Uh, That's a little crazy. My mom actually remarried. And when she passed, I allowed her husband to stay in the house. And after about seven months, I just asked him to leave. (laughs) I found out he had done some things that I didn't agree with and I asked him to leave and that was a hard decision. I didn't know if I was doing the right thing, if that's what my mom would have wanted. And so I was just, I struggled with that. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely gives me the feeling where, well, dad definitely, no wonder dad wants to come in first. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Dad is definitely like, yeah, give the guy the boot. (laughs) I feel guilty. So. Yeah, don't feel guilty. I just feel like, you know, with I, I, I know it's difficult, but I also feel like mom really comes to mom was a gentle soul. I feel like I just feel like there's such a gentleness to her and such a kindness. And, you know, and she yeah, I, I feel like she is very proud of you for maybe also doing something that she didn't do. It's like, I think she knew there was some stuff while she was in the living, but she just didn't, you know, either know how to deal with it and she didn't want to burden anyone. So I feel like she feels very good that is being taken care of now. I think her one wish was that he wasn't taking advantage of you or the siblings, you know? And so I feel like for her, she feels very good about this your mom shows me Kathy it's like I can't I don't know it's like a trinket I I feel like you have a trinket from her house that would have been in her house do you know if there's like a little ceramic vase or an angel it's like a little ceramic thing that you would have taken from her house does that resonate do you know what I'm talking about or Uh, I took some angel earrings I can't think of (laughs) Got it. Okay. Because I feel like she's she's bringing this to to my attention. Were the angel earrings in a trinket box or in a box that you also took or did you just take the earrings? I don't recall a trinket box, but there's just so much stuff that I'm still going through. You're going to see it. I want you let us know that it's I don't I I love the angel earrings, but there's something else that that you've come across and it's old. It it it's something that would have been very old. It's certainly not worth a lot but more sentimental. And and I feel like she's like take this and put it out. Put it out on the dresser. Put it out, you know, have it out. It's just something small but something that I feel like you're going to recognize either that your grandmother had it or was there when you were younger. So try to kind of go through everything to see if you recognize it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dad just gives me the feeling like with this person, he just wants you to be careful. I think it's important for you to be careful and, you know, not to like, you know, it's really hard. Sometimes we can let our empathic self take over and go, oh, well, maybe this or maybe that. And I feel like dad is like, no, we need very strong boundaries around this. Like I would need you to be very strong and not waver on this okay and don't let this person gaslight you actually so don't let them gaslight you don't let them try to make you think that they're 
that you're exaggerating or making things up. Like, I feel like it's trusting your gut with this very, very much. And your mom really says, you know, even with those little angel earrings, wear them to know that I'm with you. Wear them to know that I'm just right there on your shoulder. Okay. She loves you. I just feel like you were there to really help her and take care of her. And, and I feel like her passing feels a little quick to me. Maybe there's a quickness to it and not enough time to say the goodbye that she would want to say to you. And so I feel like with this time, she really gives me just saying, I love you so much. And, you know, I just wish I had gotten to spend more time with you. I got, I wish I had, you know, been able to do more and just know that she is there and she is with you and she's been helping you so that's why i think this little trinket thing is going to come about take a picture and show us in the in the page i I know you're going to see it okay but just know that they're absolutely around you you know to really cut the ties as quickly as possible and don't feel that you owe this person anything because they're saying no you don't everything is meant to go to you so don't don't feel responsibility for this person to let go of that burden okay thank you Yes, yes. I hope that helps and I'll leave that with you, okay? Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, everybody, let us go. Let's see. How about we talk to Giselle? Hi. Hi, Giselle. How are you? I'm okay. Good. As as good as can be. I know we want to talk to your daughter. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Do you mind if I get her first name, sweetheart? Alina. Alina? Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. I just feel like with her, <laughs> I, I mean, the first thing I got was a breath of fresh air. That's the first thing I got. So I, I think there's something with her where she was, I feel like she's young when she passes. Is that correct? Absolutely. Okay. You and And I feel like with her, there was like this idea of, it, it's, she came in with such love. I don't know. There's just such a, even it's like she's in and out so quickly, you know? And yet she comes in with such love. She comes in with like this force with her, you know, we knew. I also feel like you might have known that maybe your time was limited with her. I, I don't know. Does that resonate? Because I feel like she gave me a sense of you know, giving you all the love she could in the little bit of time she had with you. So I did feel so much love and I did feel like there was something wrong. Yes. And I went to doctors and I got everything checked. And then I came home and they said everything was okay. And then that was it. She was gone. Yes. I feel very guilty because in my gut, I feel like I should have gone somewhere else. No, it's, she gives me the sense where just for her, I guess for Alina, like she gives me the sense where, you know, her soul knew it was a short period of time. Her soul knew that it was. And and so she really gives me the feeling of being so like she felt so loved and giving love. And then it was, that was it. And I just feel like she she wants you to know how loved she is. I, I feel like that's what's important is like she knows she was loved. And, you know, she gives me the sense to of it's funny. We mentioned angel in the last one, but she keeps giving me the word angel. So I do feel like it's so much like of an angel and this just beautiful presence. And she, you know, she's got these beautiful features. Like I feel like her her features were so pretty you know and just so innocent and and I feel like she just wants you to know how loved she is with you that's the important thing is knowing how loved she is with you okay and knowing that she is okay and really it's about celebrating her because I really do feel like she wants to be celebrated you know and and to know that it was a beautiful she had this beautiful bond with you, this beautiful bond that's never, ever going to end and to know and to trust that bond. Okay. And to know that she comes around you all the time. She's with you all of the time. Yes. And they never feel her. I had two dreams that were so vivid 
And I feel that that was her. Yes. But yeah, I don't feel her around me. So know that the dreams are her visiting. That is her way of connecting. And that is her message to you. But it really is a sense of knowing that, it, you know, even when you see, I don't know where you are, but I feel like even if you see um, hummingbirds, to just know that that's her around you all. You understand and the hummingbird? The top, a picture of a hummingbird came up. See? So she's like, Mom, I am with you. I am around you. Okay? So it's trusting that and those signs that she is giving you. And, you know, her soul feels so beautiful. It feels so light. There is no pain. She's just this beautiful, again, think of a beautiful breath of fresh air, just beautiful. And to know that she is with you and she will always be with you. And she doesn't want you to feel sad, mom. She wants you to know. I feel like my life went downhill so she's gone and I don't know how to get out of that. Just keep remembering that she is okay and I feel like she wants you to live for her. You know, she wants you to live for her. And just to know that she's being taken care of on the other side, it's more about you helping her on this side to stay alive with memories, to stay alive with joy, to stay alive with experiences. And that's the best way to honor her. Just so you know, she loves her name. <laughs> so She really does. She loves, she loves the name you gave her. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And she also gives me the feeling she's with a woman on the other side. This may be a grandmother, but she's with never had any connections with anyone else that passed away. So that's my that's also my question. Is she alone? No, she's definitely there's this woman on the other side. And it gives me the feeling where this woman would be a great. So do we not have a grandmother or a great grandmother on the other side for you? I, I do. But we never had a relationship. Got it. So just know, even if you didn't have one in the physical, this lady is absolutely giving your daughter love and support on on the other side. She's not alone. I, she's not alone. And she's, you'll see, she's um, even around the house, like pay attention to the, it, it, like the lights, sparkles, like you're going to see some lights blink or some, some weird thing. That's just her kind of being in the, in the rooms with you. My son waking up in the middle of the night, raising hands, looking into spaces. Is that her? Yes, that's exactly her. Yes, that's exactly her. And know that she's there visiting. Okay. Knowing that she's there with him. Okay. Okay. And she gives you lots of love. Yeah, absolutely. I do hope this has helped and I'm sending you lots of love. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. Uh, I know that's so heartbreaking for all of you moms out there and, you know, having those babies on the other side and, I just know that it, it's hard. I, I don't think that there's any loss more difficult than that of losing a child. So, you know, my heart goes out to you, but I am so glad that little Alina came through for, for Miss Giselle. So here we go. Let's bring on Jackie. Hi there, Jackie. How are you? Hi, Colby. I'm well. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. So excited to have you today. And who can I connect with for you? What questions can I answer for you? I'm a little bit at a crossroads. I'm deciding to sell my house and I just need some, I need to know if I'm going to get a buyer. Okay. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. The answer to that is yes, you're definitely going to get a buyer. So I feel like that's going to come in. It just feels like either there's some work that needs to be done first. It feels like with the house kind of really making sure everything is in order. Also energetically being ready to let go of it because it feels like there's a strong bond or a strong tie to it. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a new house and it's beautiful and I love it, but I'm not happy where I am. Got it. Yes. So I feel like there's a part of you that is, you know, energetically not wanting to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, you know, let's work on that. But I do feel like with the move, I feel like when you do move and you're in a new place, it feels like it's the environment is exactly what you want. The environment feels so peaceful for you. And and honestly, too, it feels less maintenance. Uh, it, it feels more simple. So it just feels like it's an easier lifestyle of where I see you. And I see you being able to be maybe closer to family. So I don't know if you're thinking of moving closer to grandbabies or. So exactly. Okay. Because that's going to bring you a lot of joy. That's going to make it all worthwhile. It's just, you know, it, it's hard because I feel like you put a lot of soul into this house and it was so exciting. I feel like you treated yourself with this house. Like, okay, we're doing it. And <laughs> and then we did it. And I was like, oh, wow, that's not what I thought it would be. And so I really get this sense that once you are, you know, it's gone and you've let it go and you are around family and things are easier, I feel like that's going to bring you so much joy, okay? And it feels like it's going to just be exciting for you. It feels like you are absolutely going to be in a place of just being able to relax, being able to enjoy yourself. And that's what's really, really important. Okay. And, and knowing that. And so, you know, as the next year approaches, I feel like you are, you know, going to be in a place of peace and really moving forward. And these, you're going to have so much fun with these babies and you're going to be like right there next to them. You're not, it is, it is going to be really fun. And I think, you're going to look in hindsight and say, you know what? This was worth it. It was scary, but it was worth it. Okay. So I do hope that has helped you uh, with your decision. Okay. So just know and trust it's, it's going to be fine that you're going to, this house is going to say, you're going to have to let this house sell. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you. I'm, I hope so. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And enjoy. You are ready for the next chapter and you're meant to to take Jackie 2.0 out into the world. And it, it more is about letting yourself enjoy, letting yourself for the next stage and knowing that it, it's just going to be beautiful. OK, I love that you said that journey. That's my next chapter, my journey. Um, yes, I resonate with that. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. I hope this helps and you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Okay. Thank you, Colby. Take care. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Oh, you know, you guys, we all know what these decisions are like when you're at a crossroads and needs to do something. Sometimes it's hard, right? It's hard to give ourselves permission to do it. But once we do and we trust the universe, we we do find that it, it does work out. Uh, let me just kind of right here, Miss Gail needs some updates on how my peeps on the other side are. Well, I do feel like we have a parent on the other side, Gail. So I do feel like there's a mother, either a mother on the other side or a woman who I think would have been nurturing and supportive to you like a mother. But she's the one who wants to come in and say, hey, I'm doing OK. Like I'm letting you know. I am kicking it up here, kicking my heels. So I know that they're doing well. And I just get the sense to where they've been around you a lot, Gail. So I think there's been an interesting, some interesting things coming up for you where they've been showing up more. I also, it's interesting. I'd love to see if there's a father on the other side for you as well, just because I feel like there's a man and he keeps showing me watching TV. So yeah, it is a younger woman. Yes, it is a younger woman, Gail. So let me know if you resonate with who who that is. But she gives me the feeling of like kicking up her heels, <laughs> letting us know that that she's she's doing well and letting us know letting us know that she is okay. So I will leave that with you. And then the male on the other side is also with her. So there's a male on the other side who feels a bit older and he is on the other side. Okay. So leave that Uh, on Instagram real quick. Miss Nicole worried about my son in his depression. Any thoughts? Um, You know, it is difficult, Nicole, because I feel like you are looking at every avenue that you can. I feel like you are very empathic yourself and have been kind of looking at all of the, the resources. Um, 
I do feel like it's more about really working on, I feel like it's really working on him wanting the help. I think that's the next step, him just being open to wanting the next help, because I feel like that is what's going to make the difference. Okay. And so I know you're doing a great job. I feel like, you know, he is going to be okay. It's just continuously supporting him. I, I and I know that you are your you are his biggest cheerleader. So just know that I believe you are doing everything you can. So great props and job to you, mom. I'll answer that. And yeah, so we have husband, mother, father, granddaughter. So we have a lot on the other side for you, Gail. I'm sure that's hard. Your granddaughter is just letting you know your granddaughter is just the one who's given me a lot of excitement, a lot of joy, being very spunky, just really like doing things her way. And she is feeling so loved. So I do know that grandma, you know, your mom and your dad are there around her. And one last thing is your husband just comes through and, you know, and and I feel like, you know, he has a lot of love for you, but maybe some apologies, like, you know, I should have listened to you more. <laughs> so maybe there's something you were saying to him or helping him. But he also gives me a lot of love for you. So I will leave that there. So I do hope that helps. I want to thank all of you for joining me, being here for the Kobe Rebel Show. Thank you guys so much. You can follow my page, Kobe Rebel Medium. That's the best way to see when we're going to have a date night. If you want to be on an episode You'll know when I'm putting the notices out so you get first dibs on them. You can subscribe to the podcast. It is on Apple. It is everywhere. Spotify, iHeartRadio. You Google it. You're going to find it. Follow it. I'd love a five-star review on it. That would really make my day since this is all free. This is just a way of giving back to the community. Um, So I do want to thank you guys so much. Check out ColbyRebel.com to book your session or to see the upcoming events. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Thank you for listening to The Colby Rebel Show. Be sure to follow Colby on social media at Psychic Rebel. And if you've enjoyed this podcast, please head on over to iTunes to leave a review to help Colby grow the tribe. Colby is an international psychic medium, teacher, best-selling author, and speaker. She is a master teacher of the Lisa Williams International School of Spiritual Development and is the owner of the Colby Rebel Spirit Center in Los Angeles. Visit ColbyRebel.com.